Hi there, welcome back. In the previous video, we implemented the persistent connections on the, the pool model. So in order to do that, we changed a little bit uh, the way the dirtiness is handled. So it's now propagated through the graph, like forward through the graph recursively. And we also changed the way the get together of the output put work so uh, before evaluating the node we make sure to clean up all the dirtiness like backwards in the in the graph right where going backward so with that in place we had persistent connections and the only thing left to do looks like is the branching so let me uncomment this run the test and see what's happening. So cool, looks like all is good. So there's no fails, no errors, so it works out of the box. Looks like the propagation was the missing piece, right? So we're done with the pool model. Um, well, for now, right? So let me clean this up a little bit, save it, and move on to something else. So one thing I want to do is manage the verbosity of this test. Uh, so the first thing will be move the logger as a global variable instead of inside main. So I will paste this here. And everything should be the same. Yeah. So right now we are setting the level as the bug for everything by default, and that's good. But maybe we want to shut down the logging for some test, right? Like have a, a more granulate uh, level of control. So in order to do that, uh, unit test and most unit testing framework offer this a function, this uh, convenience function called setup and tear down. So in unit test, you can define a function called setup and we will delete this and this will be run uh, before any test under this class or any subclass of course so what I'm going to do is save the level so self.logger level will be equal to logger because now it's global dot level easy and then I want to set the level for this test to, I don't know, to not set, which is the default. I don't want logging here. So, uh, logger dot uh, set level. Yeah. This would be equal to login, and this could be anything. So, I will pick not set. And that's pretty much it. And then we need to define a tear down function method. And this is run after each test. So here we are going to res uh, restore the level to the bug or to whatever it's set globally. So in this case, we are saying logger dot set level. It will be equals to self dot logger level. So if I run this, we have no, no, no debug messages there, and it's easy to move and to move forward and work on something else. But if we need the debug, we can just change this to debug, run the test, oh, run the test, and there you go. So that's a little bit more convenient. and easy to manage, in my opinion, at least. So that's good. Uh, let me save this. Yeah, let's save this. Uh, so we have a difference in this. Oh, looks good. Cool. So let's do a git uh, commit all. 
uh yeah and this would be pool model and this is uh branching cool now we can check uh yeah we can check out to master the master branch and merge pool here so we have uh, everything in master I can go back to my editor and everything's the same everything works fine so we have like five minutes uh, the next uh, I would like to work on serialization so look for a way to save this graph uh, but I feel like it's a it's it's a long topic to start now so instead of that uh, we're going to talk about uh, coverage coverage it's important uh, so let's do you remember about this virtual environment thing that we have our own Python for our project so we're going to install a library so pip install and this library is called coverage or oh, I don't know the proper way to say it but yeah that so we'll wait a second and we have that package install so pip list that's inst install uh, locally in our project in our virtual environment so this work this this library basically allows us to know how many lines of code has been run so we can do like coverage help and you can see that we can run a python program and measure measure the code execution how many lines has been executed so this is very useful with code with testing so we want to make sure that we are running through the entire or most part of the program when we run our test suite and that's the testing coverage so ideally we should have 100 percent but in reality this well it's not always the case and this is useful because when the project grows you start having like implementing stuff without tests and this helps you to discover that cases so let's see how it works so we will use coverage we will call coverage run and we want to run tests that's our program so let's try this and it's run and now we can do coverage and there's a report and I think we can pass missing and as you can see there in our use case we have 100% cover so that's awesome but that's not common right? that's not always the case so let me just to illustrate this let's implement something not tested so let's say we have a connect but we don't have a disconnect right so this thing happened when you have a project working with a lot of people people sometimes it's like super straightforward let's implement this disconnect and without writing test first or anything so you go here and you say okay uh, I guess we need to set self that is connected uh, to false and you need to well there's uh, okay and you need to go to okay uh, self dot sources uh, pop so remove the first item and this will return a port and then you go to uh, the output port which is that port dot uh, sources and you need to remove that so you can do uh, remove is there remove yeah 
So this is port. It's a bit messy. And we remove port from there. And that's pretty much it. Right? So let me save this. Run the test suite. Everything is good because, of course, we're not testing that. And if I do a, a coverage now and I get my report, you can see how the percentage of cover went down and actually it's saying me which lines are missing. So if you have an existing project, this is super useful to see uh, what's going on testing wise and which lines of code you need to test in which, in which module. This is kind of important and it's very, very, very useful. So let's, uh, looks like we have something else in our, yeah, we have two files modify. So let's, well, we have a dot coverage there and the dot coverage is just this report stuff. So we want to ignore that from our, from Git. So let's edit dot git ignore and we're going to add dot coverage here cool so let yeah let's save this and this is um, well let's say disconnect yeah, disconnect implementation. And this is not tested. Oh, non tested? Yeah, I guess so. Cool. So that's pretty much it. In the next video, we are going to talk about serialization, how to save a graph, how to load a graph, and all that kind of stuff. So it would be very interesting. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.